Ever wonder how one of the world's most advanced airport fire and rescue vehicles works? In this episode, we will see a fire truck unlike any one you've ever seen. This is Mighty Jobs, powered by Volvo Penta. We traveled to the world's busiest airport in Atlanta, US, to check out their mighty fire and rescue department. With over 100 million travelers passing through each year, it's no small department. 233 firefighters with 29 fire trucks are on standby around the clock, 365 days a year. When that trouble comes, yeah, you know I'm praying for them. Our guides are as tough as they look, trained for the worst imaginable and always ready to leap into action. Here we have it, the Volvo Penta-powered Rosenbauer Panther. And as we're about to see, this is no ordinary fire truck. Powering this Panther is a Volvo Penta D16 engine with 700 horsepower, making this truck reach speeds of 120 kilometers an hour and accelerating from zero to 80 in just under 28 seconds. It has two water turrets, both with a discharge capacity of 9,000 liters of extinguishing agent per minute. We're now on the drill yard and we're gonna show you how to do some targeting with the bumper turret and the actual HRET nozzle. And we're aiming for the cones, but if you knock down the barrel, it's okay. That's just the way we train. So once you knock that down, like that, and then I'm gonna aim over here to knock down this cone. Yeah, seems pretty simple. It seems not that simple. <laughs> I think it's something she can do. I think it's something she can do too. You wanna try yes. it? Yes. You try it. You ready? I'm ready. There we go. So I do this like now? Yeah, you can hit start. Hit start, yeah. All right. And when you're ready, you just let it go. You're ready. Let it rip when you're ready. Okay. All right. Squeeze to get water. Awesome. Bring it down. Awesome. Great job. <laughs> Good job. No, you yeah. did it the first time. Right. No, you did Release not. Release the trigger. Now aim to the next one. All right. You see the target? Oh, I went too far. No, you didn't. That's okay. okay. No, that's perfect. Start okay, shooting. Okay. Start shooting. Little oh, movements. Oh, little oh, movements. Oh, little movements. Oh, there you go. You got it. Wow. Way to go. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> Here are some impressive facts about this mighty panther. The tank holds 14,000 liters of extinguishing agent. If you were to put that volume into soda cans, you'd end up with 42,000 cans. Even more impressive, it only takes a minute and a half to empty the tank. Filling a normal sized bathtub would take just about one second. So we're waiting for something to happen. And people told me that I'm in luck today because they're going to do their weekly training drill. It's definitely something I don't get to experience every day, but I'm really looking forward to this. But for now, we wait. This is obviously not something I get to experience every day. You know, I'm living my childhood dream here by hanging out with you. Every little kid wants to be a firefighter when they grow up. Yeah, that's awesome. So what made you decide to become a firefighter? When I was in the military, I got out, and then I had to decide on what kind of career I want to have for the rest of my life. You know, I had my baby girl, so I came back home to Georgia, and I was looking for a career. I found a college where I can go to EMT school at. And after the EMT school, I said, well, I wanted to do a little bit more. And around this time is when 9-11 happened. So, you know, I decided to become a firefighter. <laughs> When you have oh, 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 this oh, is it. Go. Okay. Ah, I'm following you. Ready? I'm following you. Know you. You're going that side. Okay, thanks. Don't All leave right. without me. Frozen power, arm 10, 3 and 8, Boeing 737 on fire. This is a drill, 14, 45 hours. All right, we've got a 737. It's fully engulfed, so, so we're going we're gonna to put the pedal to the metal. Frozen power, 10, 8, 3, respond to Lake Mary Road. Our primary concern is going to be a means of egress to get the people out of that aircraft as soon as possible. I can't believe how big that fire is. We're going to be on the northwest corner providing a means of egress. We need the next two units to provide extinguishment. We've got a large amount of fire. Wow, it's hot. Whipping around a little bit, I can't get over there to get it. Go, go. We're gonna circle around. Mars 10 is almost out of water. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Good job. 
I've got to see a lot during this series, but I think this might be one of the coolest experiences yet, and maybe the machines that have the potential to impact people's lives the most. This vehicle behind me is built to save lives, and these heroes are trained to do the same. I'm pretty overwhelmed after this experience, but that's it for now. See you next time. They call me Peep This, so best believe this. If I say that girl special, y'all best believe this. Her name is Lacey. Yo, she's a northerner. Goes by that name, yo, Little Forester. She's a real pro with the GoPro, yo. GoPro, yo, GoPro, yo, go. GoPro Hero 4. <laughs>